Good evening, Raquel. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah, you're the very first one over here right now. That's great. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yes. You know, uh, so this class will uh, we're going to spend, let's say, like like the first part uh, before eight, uh, eight thirty to uh, to practicing. All right. And after eight thirty, we're going to start working on the uh, platform. Okay, the midterm to be specific. Okay. Yes. So the first half an hour is going to be a regular class, you know, just like the classes we have. Nice. Mm -hmm. So right now we're still, uh, you know, it's still not eight or eight o'clock right now, but it's almost. Okay. It's actually eight o'clock right now. Mr. Manuel Duarte, how are you, sir? Yes. Uh, fine. Uh, and you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You know, a little bit tired, but here, here I am. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, let's see who's over here in this class right now. All right. So I got you, Jose Sierra. How are you, sir? And then Raquel and you, Manuel. Nice. All right, so as, as uh, it's a tradition already for this class, let's start with the words of the day. So today is, uh, I mean, tonight is Thursday, November the 26th, okay? And uh, the word of tonight is about time, all right? You can also say it's about time. So it's up to you. And this means in Spanish, ya era hora, all right? So this is the meaning of this, about time. So maybe you can say right now, so uh, if I say we're going to uh, work on the platform, you can say, ah, it was about time. Ya era hora, teacher. Right? So just to give you an example over here. Uh, and let me give you another example of about time. Imagine that I need to get the the uh, the, the driving uh, license, okay? And uh, I'm already driving, but I don't have a license. So you can tell me. So it's about time you get the uh, the license. All right. O sea, ya era hora. So that's the word we have right now. And what's the meaning of this? It's an expression used to emphasize uh, that something should have happened or occurred long time ago, or you know, or some time ago over here, right? All right, and just to give you another example over here, we have, uh, um, well, about time you got here. I've been waiting for an, for over an hour. Ya era hora que llegaras. Te estaba esperando por más de una hora. All right? So about time over here. So you may write it down, please. Because, you know, this is this is a, a great expression over here. All right? Quedó, quedó, de verse, quedó de verse con alguien y nunca llegó. Llegó media hora tarde. You say, ah, what's about time? Ya era hora. All right? Another example. Well... About time you got here. I've been waiting for over an hour. Actually, it's the same. It's about time that high schools uh, taught their students about basic banking and finance. Another example that I can give you, ya era hora que la vacuna del COVID-19 estuviera lista, ¿verdad? O esté lista. You know, about time. It's about time, right? So that's an example over there. All right, so look at this one. Tom ha estado viviendo con sus papás y tiene 40 años el muchacho, si se fijan, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. 40 años y todavía, like, uh, living with his parents. So, Tom finally moved out of his parents' house. About time, he's 40 years old. <laughs> ya era hora, right? All right. 
you know, next week they're gonna give us if you work a laguinaldo, right? Van a dar en el aguinaldo. So you can say it, it was about time. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, right? Yeah, you can say that. So I think this expression is very useful and uh, you should use it all the time. So let's move on over here. Do you remember yesterday we were studying this, uh, this expression, you know, used to. Used to means solía o soler, okay? And, and I said yesterday, if it's, uh, let's say, positive, all right, I'm going to write a P over here, and it doesn't matter if it's a negative, all right, so it doesn't really matter, or if it's also a question, like the one we studied yesterday, you see a question over here, uh, so look at this, all right? It's the same pronunciation. It's the same pronunciation. So, la pronunciación de used to no cambia. O sea, no varía si usted hace preguntas, usa negativo, o, o dice una oración simple en positivo. All right? So, the pronunciation is the same, everyone. So, we say, uh, when I was a child, I used to play the trumpet. I used to have a nickname. I didn't used to like scary movies. I didn't used to study very hard at school. And I can ask you, so yo le puedo hacer la pregunta, le puedo hacer la pregunta. Did you used to play the trumpet? The only difference, you know, the only difference is que en preguntas le quitamos la de, I used to. All right? Like you can see over here, I used. Le quitamos la de. Esto es muy importante porque en la plataforma ustedes tienen que ponerlo sin de. Cuando escriben una pregunta, you know, that's why it's important. All right? So be careful with that. All right, so remember, for positive statements, negative and questions, it's the same pronunciation. Okay? Para negativo, le quitamos la de, porque el verbo tiene que ser usado en su forma regular. And for uh, positive statements, yes, it's used to, but it's the same pronunciation. End of the story, everyone. All right, so do you have any questions about this so far or no question right now? Any questions about this? Or are we good? I don't know, Tania, do you have a question? Manuel, Sulma, Raquel, Jose, or anybody else? No, no teacher. No All teacher. Right. All right, so no question over here. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to be working tonight, it's going to be a short quiz, all right? And uh, this one is divided in four short conversations, okay? Four short conversations, like the ones we always practice in class. So all I'm saying, everyone, is that uh, I'm going to play the listening right now, and you're going to tell me at least... Uh, Maybe one answer or two answers out of what you understand out of that one, okay? So, okay. Vamos, a hacer este listen, vamos a hacer este listening en general, ¿verdad? Todos. And you, and you just tell me, so teacher, I think the, uh, for the first conversation, uh, that the question, why did they stop playing sports? Uh, they say because they didn't have uh, money or they have no money, all right? Maybe on number three, she used to have parties, but now uh, she doesn't have any parties anymore etc. All right? So in this way, you're going to get familiar with the pronunciation. Para que se familiaricen con la pronunciación, vamos a hacer esto. So allow me just one second to get information. Once you listen, I'm going to send you the access for this conversation so you can practice in person. Okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. So allow me just one second over here. All right. Let me just get the audio right here. So one moment, please. Recuérdense que a partir de los ocho y media vamos a empezar a trabajar con la plataforma, o sea, el midterm. Ok. No es que ustedes lo van a hacer, sino que yo les voy a mostrar los ejercicios, los ítems y lo vamos a hacer juntos. All right. So that's the idea. So we're going to do this all together. 
So you don't have to worry about anything right now. All right. So well, let me just one second over here. Let me just get the, the right screen because you know, in that way I can share it. All right. All right, so are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but I was uh, getting information over here. So um, let's go ahead and listen then. All right. One, two, three. You stick. Conversation one. Do you play sports? I used to play sports in high school. Yeah, I used to play sports too. Why did you stop? Mm, no time, I guess. Yeah, I used to have so much free time. Me too. I miss those days. Conversation two. Do you speak French? I speak it a little. I used to use it all the time, but not anymore. Really? Why is that? Well, I, I used to work for a French company, and then I changed jobs. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Conversation three. Are you coming to the party? No, I have to work. Work? What happened? You used to never miss a party. True, but I also didn't used to have a stressful job. <laughs> yeah, and you used to be poor, but you were fun. Yeah, I used to be fun. Conversation four. Hey, you used to have a Spanish coworker, right? Yeah, Maria. But she moved. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, I really miss working with her. Yeah, I liked her a lot. She used to always make me laugh. I know. We used to have such fun together. All right, so uh, now take a look at the quiz one more time, please. Just one second over here. Let me just get the screen again. So as you can see, there are four questions. The first one is, why did they stop playing sports? Number two, where did uh, she use French? Number three, she used two. Number four, uh, also the same over there. So who can tell me, teacher? So on the first one is, uh, she stopped playing sp uh, sports because? She, and she, me teacher, me teacher. All right. Yeah, go ahead, please. Is that no time or no money? No time. No time. No time. No time. Correct. 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 It was because she has no time now. And no what time. about num what about number two? Where did she use French? Or, or where uh, did she learn French? At work. She used, at work. She used French in France. At work. At work. Actu uh, yeah, actually actually Manuel uh, she never mentioned that she went to France, but she worked for the uh, French company. Sometimes. So, so, so I think that is letter eight at work over here. So the company was French. It's like if you work for an American company right now. All right. So just like that. Okay. So number number three, she used to never miss a party or be, be a fun. Party. Be fun. Be she fun. To be fun. She she used used to be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 letter B because on, on letter A they said uh, that she never used to miss a party, something like that. Not that she had a party, but she went to parties and she never missed parties. So, so but she used to be fun. So that's the one. All right. So on number two, it's a uh, work. Number one is no time. You said, all right. And then number four, she used to. What about this one, number four? Have a friend from Spain. Correct. And what's uh, the friend's name, if you remember? Maria. It was Maria, right? Yeah, a very Spanish name over there. So uh, check your WhatsApps right now. Um, I'm sending to you the uh, conversation so you can practice, all right? So, but uh, let me just, just one second over here. All right, so um, let me just look for the chat. Yeah, I found it. 
All right. There you go. All right, so let me know if you're able to open it, please. Yeah, it's working, right? Is, is it working? Yes, right. Okay, so uh, okay, so and and these are the conversation. You see, conversation one. Okay, is you have conversation one, conversation two, conversation three, and the last one, conversation four. So right now, I'm going to make the uh, breaker rooms. You're gonna practice in pairs the four conversations. You can practice one or two times. So it's up to you. All right. So uh, just one second over here, and here we go. All right, so try to join the uh, rooms, please, so you, uh, you can help your partners practice. All right, so Jose is with Mauricio, Tania with Vanessa, Carlos with Zulma, Edwin with Mariana, Adriana, with Jocelyn, uh, Manuel with Raquel, all right? So join the rooms, please. And try to practice. Mr. Jose, how are you, sir? All right, so since since your friend is not here yet, so let's practice. I'm gonna be the let's say the the man of the first conversation and you'll be the woman and then we switch, okay, on number two. Ready? Okay. All right, so uh do you play sports? I used to play sports in high school. All right. Acuérdese que le une el sonido, lo dice, used to, used to. Used to. Used to, uh, yes. Yes, and then you go, yeah, I used to play too. I guess, why did you stop? No time, I guess. Yeah, I used, I used to have to have so much free time. Me too, I miss those days. Now we switch. You saw the woman, and then you are the, the man, okay? No. Do you speak French? I speak, no. I speak a, a little. I used to use it all the time, but not anymore. Really? Why is that? Mm -hmm. You say, really? 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 Really, con e, really. Okay, well, I used to work I used to work for a French company and then I changed jobs. Oh, really? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Hay un error ahí. Fun tiene que ser aquí un error. Okay. Now we switch. Okay. I'm the man over here and then you're going to be the woman. So are you coming to the party? No, I, I have to work. Work? I have to work. Okay, what happened? You used to never miss a party. Try, but I also true. But I also didn't used to have a stressful job. Mm -hmm. it's stressful. Yeah. Estresante, it's stressful, it's stressful. Stressful. Yeah, true. No. You used to be poor, but you were fun. All right. Eh, vale, le, le voy a mandar compañía ahorita, eh, eh, José. I'm going to send you somebody over here. Usted es el breaker room number one. And yeah, this one. Miguel, Miguel is going to practice with you and just catch him out. Let's póngalo al tanto. All right, he joins okay. over here. Yeah, bueno, no, la yeah, okay, number, conversation number four. Yeah, Miguel is over here, yes. So tell him, please. <laughs> Póngalo al tanto, por favor. Okay. So practice Perfect. with, uh, yeah, practice, please. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you play soccer? 
But sorry, sorry. Do you play sport? I used to. Sorry. I yeah, Sulma, Sulma, your connection is, is not stable, so Carlos is not able to listen to you. Yes. Or, yeah, so but Carlos. I try, I try to understand. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, I mean, if, if you like, uh, I mean, keep on practicing with her, but I can also help you practice as well. But she left already, so let's practice then. At least one conversation, all right? Ready, Carlos? Yes, I am ready. All right, so uh, you start, please. Conversation three, please. <clears throat> Are you coming to the party? No, I have to work. Work? What happened? You used to never miss a party. True, but I also didn't used to have a stressful job. True. You used to be poor, but you were fun. Yeah, but I used to be fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start now. Hey, you used to have a Spanish co-worker, right? Yeah, Maria, but she moved. Really? That's too bad. Yeah, I really miss working with her. Yeah, I liked her. Uh, she used to always make me laugh. I know. We used to have uh, such, such fun together. Such fun together, yes. Perfect pronunciation, Carlos, by the way. That's, that's, that's good. That's good, you know. Thank you, teacher. Good job, sir. So let's go back to the main station, all right? Okay. All right. All right, so uh, let, let's, let's continue with this. But uh, for this, uh, let's see, I need two volunteers just to help me uh, practice the first and the second conversation. Who says me? Over here, okay, Vanessa, and uh, let me just go full screen over here. Yes, Vanessa, and who else? Me too. Manuel, Mr. Eduardo, all right. Yeah. All right, so I guess you start, right, Manuel? <laughs> Do you play a sport? I used to play a sport in high school. Yeah, I used to play too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Why did you stop? No time, I guess. Yeah, I used to have so much free time. Me too. I miss those days. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so second conversation, please. Continue. Continue, okay. Yes, Do please. you speak in French? I speak a little. Mm -hmm. I used to use the, I use it all the time, but not anymore. Really? Why is that? Well, I used to work for a French company, company, and then I changed job. Oh, really? I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. it. Uh, it I was a lot of of tour. <laughs> no, that's a yes. mistake over there. It's fun. fun. It's fun, it's right? Fun. Yes. Okay. All yeah, right, so, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Vanessa, and thank you, Manuel. So uh, we okay. try to say this a little bit faster. You say, I used to use it all the time. Solía usarlo todo el tiempo. I used to use it all the time, but not anymore. Okay. So that's that's how we say it over there. Thank you. So, two more volunteers, please, for conversation three and conversation four, please. Main teacher. All right, Mariana, and it could be a woman or, or, a, or, a, or a boy, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so Mariana, and who, who's number two? Me, teacher. Sulma, thank you. I can hear you well now. So, um, I don't know. Sulma, would you like to start? Yes. All right, so Mariana, you're the next one. So you're the one over here. So go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Are you coming to the party? No, I have to work. Mm -hmm. 
work. What happened? You used to never miss a party. True, but I also didn't used to have a stressful job. Mm -hmm. True. Uh -huh. Shulma? All right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think your connection is is not stable. You know, like like, like a road over here. So I'm Miguel, that's okay. Miguel, would you like to help? Yeah, <laughs> yeah just like a road, right? Like just like this, right? Sorry about that, Suma. <laughs> Es, me... Está mal el, el sistema. El internet. <risa> sí, ahí estoy yo también. Que... Ha de ser de claro. ¿no? <risa> sí, verdad. No comments over there. All right. So, um, so Miguel y Mariana, let's, let's mm -hmm. continue. Other, other All right. So, uh, Miguel, it's true. You used to be. Está mudo, está en silencio. Eh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> true, but you, true, you used to be poor, but you were fun. Mm -hmm. Yep, I used to be fun. Yeah, continue over here. So, uh, Miguel, you start. Hey, you used to have. Hey, you used to have a Spanish co-worker, right? Yeah, Maria, but she moved. Mm -hmm. Really, that's too bad. Yeah, I really miss working with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like her. She used to always make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I know, we used to have such fun together. Thank you so much. So in this one is laugh. Laugh. Oh. <laughs> como, wow. el, como laugh, pero sin la O. Okay. ¿Verdad? Si laugh. tiene niños, si tiene niños, vas a ver, ¿verdad? La referencia. <laughs> You're going to understand it. Like a laugh, <laughs> like a laugh, you know, but in this case it's laugh, laugh. All right. ¿Cómo dice risa? Ajá, uh -huh, sir. Teacher, eh, eh, aquí es stressful, stressful job. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así se dice en la parte de Yeah, S stressful, stressful. Yeah, stressful. Stressful. Yeah, stressful. Yeah, stressful job. Estresante. Yeah. And pobre dicen poor, 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 poor. We don't say poor, we say poor. All right. Nice. Let's let's continue over here. So we reached to uh, unit two and we're going to review this unit very quickly. So let me just uh, mute your microphones very quickly so I can explain something over here. So in this unit, you're supposed to talk about like problems that affects your community. For example, you have too much traffic, too much pollution, there are too many cars, etc. We don't have uh, enough money, okay, and everything over there. So uh, on this exercise, uh, you can uh, make some uh, words, compound words. For example, if you, if you mix subway with station, okay, so you, you make a subway station. If you put bicycle all right with a lane you put you use bicycle lane o sea el carril de la bicicleta just like this one right this one all right all right el punto de los taxis a taxi stand you know this is what this word is telling you okay but we're not gonna do this uh, very quickly because um uh, more than one combination may be possible o sea que pueden ir bastantes uh ¿Cómo les podría decir? Eh, opciones o configuraciones para esto. So you can say bus station, bus stop, news stand. You can say that, news stand. Parking lot or parking space or parking station, etc. You can say street light. Street light es el semáforo, you know, street light. Okay. You say subway station, taxi stand, etc. You can also say a street uh, jam. Or, I'm sorry, you can say traffic jam. A traffic jam is la famosa trabazón. Okay, traffic jam. Okay. And then train, train station. All right. Etc. 
As you can see, so many options are possible over here. So that's what I'm saying. Okay, but uh, this, this uh, grammar, it's important for, for right now, all right? So take a look at this, please. So perspectives, transportation services, we have listened to these comments about transportation, etc. But in this case, I'm gonna be choosing some of you to help me read. So I'm gonna be choosing uh, Mr. Carlos, Carlos Pancilla. Would you please help me read the first one, sir? This one, the one that says the buses are, are, are old and slow. Como que fuera el Salvador que están escribiendo aquí, ¿verdad? <laughs> so yeah. Carlos, yeah, help us, please. It's El Salvador, right, right now. <laughs> All right. Teacher, sorry. I am lost. Yeah, just, just read, please. Just help me read right now, this. Where? Yeah, read. Where teacher? Um, Here, I think I'm sharing the screen, right? Ah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. And uh, the buses are old and slow. And they and cost. They, sorry, I'm connecting in two parts. And they cause too much uh, pollution in cities with uh, less pollution. People are healthier healthier yeah correct uh, correct not, not so the problem cars yeah continue continue uh, there are too many cars uh, all the cars taxis and buses are a danger to bicycles there are is too much traffic all right and number three uh, there should be uh, fewer cars but i think the the biggest problem is parking and there just isn't enough parking. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, so the grammar right now is the following. So listen to this. The grammar is too much, all right? All right, and there also is less over here. And uh, so too many, that's the other grammar that we're gonna be studying over here, and too much as well. And the other expression is fewer, all right? And there's another one, uh, enough. So listen to that. We have too much, uh, less, too many, too much again, fewer and enough. So that's the grammar for, for right now. So take a look. Expressions of quantity, okay? Con sustantivos contables y sustantivos no contables. But for example, if you say cars, you say one, two, three cars, for example. If you say buses, yeah, you can count them as well. And, but if you say traffic, um, so that's not countable. If you say money, if you say time, no se puede contar en sí, ¿verdad? Es, es, es una idea general, right? En cambio, la hora sí, ¿verdad? But my point is the following. If you want to say, no tengo... Um, uh, I can say, no tengo mucho tiempo. You can say, I don't have too much time, all right? Or I don't have enough time, okay? O si yo no tengo de, uh, uh, mucho dinero, like happens all the time, I can say, I don't have too much money, okay? Or I don't have enough money. No tengo suficiente dinero. Si me hace falta es enough, all right? Isn't enough. Si yo tengo suficiente es enough. Enough significa suficiente, all right? Like in this case, there are too many cars. Just like in San Salvador downtown, right? Si usted va al centro, or, or if you go to uh, every single street or highway, Troncal del Norte, del Norte uh, Constitución, eh, Jerusalén, Boulevard de los Héroes, El Ejército, everything. You know, there are too many cars. Entonces, hi, there is too much traffic, right? Tráfico es, no es contable, you use match, okay? So, and that's the idea over here. There should be fewer cars. There should be less pollution. Si usted dice que deberían haber menos carros, va a utilizar fewer. Pero si es algo incontable, you're going to say less, all right? Si tiene vecinos ruidosos y uh, hace mucho ruido, you can say, they should uh, uh, make less noise, okay? Porque noise es incontable. All right? 
si usted cree que los diputados, por así decirlo, deben ganar menos dinero, <ríe> you can say, yeah. they, yeah, they, should, they should earn less money, que menos dinero. Y si usted piensa que su salario no es suficiente, you can say, my salary is not enough. Ok, you may say that, right? O si no tiene tiempo para practicar inglés, you can say, I don't have enough time to practice English. Ok. Si hay muchas personas en un lugar, there are too many people. Esa es una expresión negativa. There are too, too many es mucho, demasiado. All right? And just like that. So, and this is the grammar that I need to present to you. So, uh, this exercise is going to be done uh, in, in a second, not right now. Ya lo vamos a asignar, solo necesito presentarles algo, algo además. So, esto va a ser lo primero que vamos a practicar a continuación, right? This one. And I'm going to send it to you in a second, all right? But we also have this uh, listening, but since we don't really have time, because we need to complete the platform, we're going to skip this one. Entonces, vamos a, a, a saltarnos a la siguiente. Entonces, this is going to be the second thing we're going to practice. And I think that's going to be the last one, okay? We have common questions asked by visitors to a city. ¿Qué preguntaría un turista, no sé, europeo, que nunca ha visitado El Salvador, por ejemplo? So, how much do taxes cost? Where should I go shopping? Va a ir al shopping center o va a ir a, no sé, a Simán, por así decirlo. All right. O va a ir al centro, al Génesis, o va a ir al centro. All right. Aquí, pase, pase, ¿verdad? De, de todo. El avión. Exactly, exactly. So, where can I get a map? I mean, we don't ask this anymore, right? Okay, so what's the best way to see the city? Agarra un tour o agarra un, no sé, un bus, la nueve, o uno que le lleve al centro. <laughs> so we don't know, right? So where can I buy a prepaid phone? Donde puede poner saldo, por así decirlo. You know, a prepaid phone or where, where can you put balance? Balance, you know, ese es el saldo, balance. Or, or phone credit. Where, where's a good place to meet friends? A donde puede conocer gente. You know, be careful with this. <laughs> what festivals or events are taking place? Va a venir para Semana Santa, para Agosto, para Navidad. So, we got to be careful over here, right? What are some family-friendly activities? No sé, se vira la playa, al tunco, or I don't know, you're going to go somewhere else. So, family-friendly activities. Which hotel is closest to the airport? Okay. What museums should I see? No tenemos mucho, right? We don't have too, uh, like enough museums over here. David J. Guzman, maybe. I don't know. The museum that is uh, by Ilopango, that one. So we will see over there. So uh, what you're going to do, and this is the last thing you're going to be practicing uh, this uh, evening with me. And then we're going to move to the platform is this. Van a hacer las oraciones poniendo uh, lo que a usted le parezca, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí puede decir, there are not enough police officers, or there are too many police officers, ¿ok? There should be less cars in the city, etc. ¿Ok? ¿Is that clear, everyone? Yep. Yeah, it is, right? So I think it's, it's clear over there. Yeah, it's clear over there. Sure. So, yes. What keywords that means? Eh, menos. Oh, okay. Yes, like we say it in Spanish, más poquitos. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, okay. less, less and fewer, they mean the same. Significa lo mismo. Es cuestión de gramática, ¿con qué lo voy a usar? Por ejemplo, less lo ocupa con cuestiones que no se pueden contar. Usted dice... Eh, pollution, noise, uh, money, time, love, cosas así abstracta, ¿verdad? But things that are tangible, like cars, people, uh, las monedas que tiene en la bolsa, los celulares que tiene, you know, things just like that, you can count them. All right, you can, you have to say fewer, okay, just like this. All right. So let me send you to the breaker room the last time and you're going to practice uh, these uh, statements and then you're going to ask and answer 
the following over here. You're going to ask your classroom, so how much do taxis cost? Y puede decir, depende de la carrera, para donde va, si es un Uber or if it's something else, right? So that's what you're that's what you got to say. So it depends at the end, right? So I'm going to be sending these two images in a second to the, to the chat over there so you can practice. Pero ya no perdamos más tiempo. Vamos a ver over here. Just one second. Uh, so this one is going to be in groups of three, all right? Groups of three. Go ahead, please. So Jose, Mariana, Tania, and Zuma are on, on, on the same uh, team. Uh, Adriana, Jocelyn, and Mauricio are on the other one. Carlos, Raquel, and Vanessa are on the next one. Edwin, uh, Manuel, and Miguel are on the other one. Over there. So join the rooms, please. And in the meantime, let me send this to you right away. Can you repeat? I didn't pay attention, sorry. Okay, I think the question one is there are too many police officers. Or you, or you can also mm -hmm. say there aren't enough police officers. You may say that. It's up to you. Okay, oh. enough. Yeah. Puede decir no es uh, No, porque en este caso, yeah. officer, officers, you can count them, yes, officers. Mm, yes. But it's because it's a front number. Yeah, yeah, right? correct, yes. Okay. O sea, si, si tiene una S en general, se cuenta. Okay. Okay, so that's it. It is enough. Enough aplica para cualquiera. Es como neutro, okay. Oh, e okay. E Enough, you're saying que no hay suficiente o si hay suficiente. Yo puedo decir, tengo suficientes amigos y no tengo suficiente dinero. You may, may say that, right? Mm. Have enough friends, but I don't have enough money to buy them a present. <laughs> so I can say that, right? Mm. Teacher, I can say there should be too many cars in the city. There should be fewer. Fewer. And para decir más, o sea, en vez de decir así menos, ¿cómo se dijo? Ay. Mucho más. More. Too much. Or... More, more. Like, like this, like this, look at the screen. It says, we need more subway lines. There should be all this is, uh -huh. more cartoons. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. No. Look. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's, somebody's getting killed, you know, I need a police. 
I need the police right now. I can say there isn't enough safety in this class. No hay suficiente seguridad, you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what what would be number five? Number five. Uh, the show P. Debería ver. Debería ver. That's what we say. Debería ver. More? More. Más ruido. Más ruido. Huh? More. Um, yeah. or, or less. Less. Uh, less. Less. Exactly. Yeah. So, los, a nadie nos gustan los, los vecinos bullistas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we don't like noisy neighbors, right? We don't like noisy and nosy. Nosy son neques, you know, nosy. No. Mm -hmm. And noisy, ruidosos. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Pensé que estábamos en la four. No, yo les pregunté solo al azar, perdón. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I asked you randomly. So we have noise, noisy is... Ruidoso, ruidoso. Y knows si es meque. Ah, ok. Oh. Nosy. Uh, no, the no. is more, right? Uh, which one, sir? Um, the government needs to build more highways. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. Highways, yes. If it has an S, o sea, si en general tiene una S, póngale mm -hmm. contable. O sea, you can say more, fewer, okay. too, too many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's, it, that's the easiest way to understand this. You know, E enough, aplica con cualquiera. Esto es con cualquiera. ¿Verdad? Es neutro. Enough, with anything. So mm. I can say, so I can say, I can say, I, I, I have, I have enough friends, but I don't have enough money to, to uh, go out with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can say that. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> yeah. All okay. Right. Nice. Continue, please. Park, park on the streets. There are many. Yeah, could be. Okay, so just some rain. I'm oh, sorry, you know, some rain reinforce, <laughs> reinforcement. I'm sorry for the for the grammar. Un poquito un refuerzo en la gramática. Cosas así puntuales. Enough is neutral. O sea, enough se utiliza con cualquiera. So you can say I have uh, many. Uh, no, I have enough friends in my neighborhood, but I don't have uh, enough time to visit them. Okay, so enough can be used with anything, right? Enough. Right? Okay. Yes, but uh, remember, in general, if it has an S at the end, it's countable. Okay, es en general, verdad? Si tiene una S es contable. Like garages over here, streets over here, police officers over here, etc. Cars and everything. So in that in that in that case, you gotta say debería haber. There should be. There should be means debería haber or debe haber. There should be. There should be uh, more cars in the city. I don't think so, right? Ya no cabemos. There should be. Fever. Fewer, right? Yeah. Menos? Be menos, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Fewer. Menos car. Yes. What about, for example, number five? There should be more or less? Less. Yes. Less, I less. think so. Correct. Uh -huh. Correct. Less. Less. Right? Igual que more, you know, more applies with anything. Aplica con cualquier cosa. Necesita más tiempo o menos tiempo. I need more time or less time. It's up to you. All right? Simply, okay. just like that. Nice. 
All right. Okay, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, so did you finish this already? The one I'm sharing with you right now? This one? Right now. Right now. All right, all right. I finished. Nice. Yes. Let, let's try to share the other one, the one that says common questions asked by visitors <laughs> to a city. Los taxistas cuando le quieren ver la cara a uno. ¿eh? <laughs> That happens, you know, that happens. They want to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sleep it in your bed and never <laughs> get up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Or playing one uh, or Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. <laughs> That's a good game, Yu-Gi-Oh, right? It's a good game. I used to play it. Yeah. Well, I played that. I played. That spell, the sp <laughs> you know, the spell card was a killer, you know. <laughs> yeah, I remember, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> that's, a gr that's a great game, yes. That's one or two, right? One. It's a, also a good one. So. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so are you practicing these questions already or you're, you're done with that? Well, mm -hmm. we tried to... Be yeah. the answer for that question. Yeah, maybe these are for tourists, right? Yeah. Yeah, these questions are for tourists. Let's do something. You know, let's go back to the main station because I need to. Uh, I need to uh, explain the platform. Okay. That means okay. for you. Okay. Need you. Right. right. All right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, so right now I'm going to go over the uh, platform. We have like around uh, five minutes or six minutes left. I'm just going to give you some tips, you know, how to answer the, the midterm, how to take the midterm, because I think some of you are going to take it uh, maybe tomorrow or over the weekend. And if you already uh, took this, so you're gonna help me, okay? So that's the idea. Ay, 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 ayudarnos mutuamente sacar esto adelante eh, so just one second over here ok oh, one more. all right so here we go uh, so your level is intermediate level and then uh, eh, here we go So one second, let me just go to the midterm. It's loading right now. As you can see, I already uh, did pretty much, I did everything already. We're gonna start with the listening. Y le voy a dar así como un pequeño tip de lo que a mí me funciona y me funcionó al aprender inglés. Y lo que todavía me funciona. All right. No crean que solo porque uno más o menos entiende o sabe inglés, O sea, va a poder responder correctamente. No, you, you have to use some techniques and, and some strategies over here. And that's what I'm, I'm going to share with you right now. All right? But my point is not to give you the answers over here. So, you know, I'm just going to, you know, select this and everything and just put this. All right? So, uh, the first thing is get familiar with the questions over there. Okay? Aprovechen que tienen todo el tiempo no del mundo, ¿verdad? Pero usted decide cuando darle play de acá. All right, so you decide. So what you can do is read the statements. Okay. O sea, en su mente la lee. And then you go, Tom grew up in. ¿Cuáles son las opciones? San Francisco, Japan, San Diego. All right, so number two, Carol used to. Y hacemos lo mismo. So you do the same over there. Collect old photos, read comic books, and watch mysteries. Uh, number... Uh, Number three, according to Helen, there is too much traffic. There isn't enough parking downtown, uh, and there aren't enough houses, etc. ¿Qué dice Ana? Ana can join a carpool by uh, riding to work with Steve, asking a neighbor for a ride, calling a phone number. Okay. 
Entonces, ya me familiaricé, más o menos ya tengo una idea, ¿verdad? De lo que está ahí. Pero como no soy maquinita, o sea, no recuerdo todo, I have to take notes, ¿ok? O usted lo hace simultáneamente, le da play y va escuchando y va seleccionando de una sola vez, o toma sus notas y después lo contesta. So you have two options over there. All right? But what works best for me is I listen and then I select the option just right there. Okay? Just right. That's what I do. Okay? And I'm going to play this very quickly and then you guys are going to tell me. So this is the way it's supposed to, to be done. So let me just again share the screen and share the audio with you because that's the purpose. Lo, lo único que cambia de estos listenings no es el contenido, ¿verdad? Ni la dificultad, sino que es la forma en que se los presenta, como un examen. Es lo mismo de las conversaciones que hacemos nosotros, prácticamente. It's pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and try to do this. Listen, please. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Tom Jordan. I just moved into the building. Nice to meet you, Tom. I'm Sarah Hagen. Are you from around here? No, I'm not from San Diego. I'm actually from San Francisco. Oh, were you born there? No, I was born in Japan, but I grew up in San Francisco. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Unfortunately not. I was only a baby when my family left Japan and moved to the States. Two. How's your meal, Carol? It's really good. Do you want to try some? No, thanks. So tell me. What were you like as a child? Oh, when I was a kid, I was really into books. I used to read all the time. What kinds of books? Well, I remember I used to read comic books a lot, and I loved reading mysteries. Did you collect anything? No, I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect old black and white photographs. Mm -hmm. Three. Number three. I had an interesting evening last night. Why? What did you do, Helen? Well, I went to a city council meeting on transportation. Oh, I wanted to go to that. What happened? First, several people talked about traffic problems. Some said there's too much traffic. And then others talked about not having enough buses. That's true. And then I stood up and said there isn't enough parking downtown. We need more public parking garages. Four. Number four. Hey, Steve, guess what? I had to wait 30 minutes for a bus this morning. My commute is getting worse and worse. It's because there are too many cars on the road. You know, Anna, I think you need to join a carpool. Carpool? What's that? It's a group of people who ride to work together in one car. Oh, right. That's a good idea. How do you join a carpool? There's a phone number you can call. You just leave your address and phone number, and someone calls you back with the names and numbers of people in your neighborhood who want to carpool. All right, so and if I want to check the answers, since I did, I did this at the, same, at the same time, I just go click on Submit It, and the system will tell me. All right. Uh, está cargando todavía, quizás por la conexión no me va a dejar. But I can tell you, everyone, that everything is correct over here. All right. Y esta es una forma de hacer el listening. Hacerlo mientras está usted eh, escuchando. Right. And there you go. You see, 16 points out of 16. All right. La 3 estuvo un poquito difícil porque varias personas hablaron para, but you say, according to Helen, de acuerdo a Ellen. All right. No las otras personas. It's about Ellen over here. And then you keep on working over here. And then you have to use the past tense in here. Like, where? I was born. Where were you born, right? Number two, ¿verdad? Aquí tiene que completar la pregunta es, did high school, right? Study, right? Did he, he right? Did he study French? Okay. And number three, hay que fijarse el, el verbo, graduate. Okay. Forma básica es graduate. We go, como se, 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 el auxiliar, el sujeto y el verbo me hace falta. Did they graduate over here? And you continue just like that. You have to pay attention. That's the key. O sea, es la clave. Hay que poner atención en la indicación que nos dice. Okay? Y no saltarnos palabritas. Sino you know, every summer, Sam used to go to... No puede decir paint or soccer ball. No, no, no. That's incorrect. To the beach over there. All right? I really enjoy playing. ¿El qué? 
maybe chess, right? O sea, algunas son prácticamente de lógica las que ustedes tienen que hacer. Aquí está el used to. Cuidado con esto. Si comienza mayúscula, capital letter. Si está en medio, used to, positivo, con D. Si comienza, perdón, si está en medio, did you used to, el verbo normal en preguntas. Y aquí, si no hay ningún otro verbo de por medio, el pasado es collective order. So with this, I'm done. If you have any doubts, uh, you know, for this, you gotta let me know today or tomorrow or over the weekend. I'm gonna help you with the midterm. Si tienen problemas con el midterm, o si están en la sección 3, y cuando hagan esto, you gotta let me know and I'm gonna help you, all right? I'm gonna help you with this, okay? Okay. You're very welcome. Teacher. Yes, yes. Una consulta. Cuando nos hemos equivocado, tenemos la posibilidad de volver a repetir el examen. Pero verdad que todo eso, al final, sale como que baja la nota si yo lo estoy repitiendo, si me he equivocado en algo o no. En realidad la nota no le baja, se, se guarda la nota más alta. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. La nota más alta, sí. O sea, usted puede... Uh -huh. En particular, a mí me, esta parte me costó hacerla porque en la tarde lo, lo comencé a hacer uh -huh. el examen. Entonces, yo me equivoqué en esta parte porque yo solo ponía, did you? Y, y, y voy viendo con lo de la clase ahorita que me faltó como el complemento. de ah. mí a mí también esa parte fue que tuve problemas, pero ya que está ahí, ya, esa era mi duda que tenía respecto. Ah, también. Ya, pues lo bueno. voy a corregir. Sí, sí, bueno, está bien. <risa> bueno, cualquier cosa me preguntan. I'm going to help you. you know? Just text me. Whether. Yes. Este, hasta, ¿Qué día tenemos como máximo para hacer todo esto? Mire, en teoría, usted puede ir completando a, a su tiempo, o sea, pero... Para que no se le vaya acumulando, de aquí al domingo tiene que, tiene que completar el midterm. Hasta aquí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Bueno. So, have a nice weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.